Think trench warfare and much older conflicts come to mind, but this technique is still practiced. You know, it's like drumming is uh, an old art. However, people still use the same rudiments to this day to make them the great drummers that they are. So with soldiering, we, we aim to put the basics together better to, get, to become complete soldiers. This may look like art class, but mortar platoon are also going back to the bare bones of their training. When we're in a, a position and say there's a watchkeeper and he gets through the net that there's something out on the ground that he can't physically leave to have a look. So if he's got a panoramic there, which is a picture of what we can see, uh, with reference points on key features and stuff like that, he can, um, they can straight away radio through to him saying reference, blah, blah, blah. Say reference, uh, Land Rover down there. Afghanistan may have made its mark on some elements here in Kenya, but this is more about being expeditionary. Troops pick a piece of flat ground and make it home, keeping themselves and their weapons fit and ready to fight. We're sleeping out in the field with all the animals, basically, underneath a poncho, on rations, the majority of the time. We are getting a bit of fresh food brought out to us, so it's good. For the command of the British Army training unit in Kenya, the benefits of Ascari Thunder couldn't be more clear. This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best light roll infantry battle group training I've ever seen anywhere. Every single soldier or officer I talk to after the exercise is finished will probably say the same. Quite a few of them won't say that during the exercise because it is pretty tough training here. So it's a tough environment to exist in even before you throw in the sort of added complexities of an enemy and all that sort of thing. As the exercise progresses, training steps up a gear. Up here in the Archers Post training area, northeast of Lycipia, conditions are even more austere. While a lower altitude makes it easier in some way for the soldiers, it also means that temperatures here reach into the mid 40s and the terrain is dry, dusty, and rugged. I've just done three years' uh, ceremonial duties as a drummer. Now I'm in Kenya doing the role. It's, it's good because we're teaching the guys, and this is the future of the army, so it's good to come out here and practice it in a, in a, in a terrain that we're unfamiliar with. We've been in frontiers. This is our bread and butter. This is what we love to do. But any of the soldiers here would love to be in Kenya, you know, to do a training like this because this is our main role of what we do. On this unnamed uh, route, with training so Afghanistan focused in recent years, exercises like this aim to develop a foundation that isn't mission specific. It's fighting for a war, not the war. And for fire support company, that means going back to their roots. It's not being diluted amongst the rifle companies. It's really uh, being used as a separate fire support group. And going back to some of its more traditional functions, which um, because of the nature of Afghanistan have been slightly um, uh, forgotten about. So thing, old fashioned things, moving around, difficult terrain with heavy loads, those sort of things we're practicing out here. Ascari Thunder is also replicating wider changes in defense, with more than 30 reservists from the TA deployed for the full duration of this exercise. The lads are all awesome, you know, their drills and skills, they're, they're more up to scratch than we are, but we always, we always work harder to get to their standards no matter what. To take six, seven weeks out and come away and train with the guys who are actually doing this um, brings your training on as a TA soldier absolutely leaps and bounds. Uh, the only way you're going to get this experience is actually to come out here and actually do it. Uh, and I say it's, it's, the training potential in this is absolutely fantastic for us. 200, quiet. Next year, 2PWRR will become the Theatre Reserve Battalion in Cyprus, a post they held before public duties, but one which also has to evolve. The TRB is about supporting transition in, in Afghanistan, but the TRB has wider utility and it's going to be located in Cyprus, which is highly strategically relevant. Uh, and of course, the TRB uh, could be employed on operations across the Middle East uh, and, now, and North Africa, including providing training teams. Um, so, uh, again, this training is absolutely about designing in those foundation skills uh, that will allow us to adapt to a challenge wherever it might be and in whatever theatre it might take us to. Wherever they may go next, Ascari Thunder will mean the battalion are ready. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Kenya.